video mm. of an arrest in Harlem went viral. It's had almost 30,000 views and now residents are calling for an investigation in... Tarzan reacts to violence. We see here a uh, cop striking a woman. Let's check it out. Good old New York. To the NYPD. CBS 2's Dave Cronin live in Lower Manhattan with all the details. Dave. An officer whose actions are being investigated and a woman awaiting arraignment behind me stemming from an incident with a video that people are talking about. This is the video posted to social... Ooh. Already. Look at that wallop. Video that people are talking about. This is the video. Po she pushed the cop. And the cop returned. Must have some guy in the gym. Social media that shows a chaotic arrest. That you see get even more chaotic after this woman enters the frame. Identified as 19 year old Tamani Crumb. She confronts an officer as he arrested a man Crumb reportedly knows. The woman engages the officer, appearing to slap him, and he. Re Oof. And he slapped her right back. My God. Appearing to slap him, and he responds with what looks like a wallop of a punch, causing her to fall backwards onto. Jesus, that girl's gonna get paid so much money. She fell right on her, right on her cranium. That shit is crazy. He hit her really hard. Well, he's black. They can't say it's a uh, white on black crime at least, but they're gonna say it's blue on black crime, and of course they're gonna want their money. The pavement. But I would want my money too. Fuck that. You see her get picked up off the ground and taken into custody. Here is Crumb's grandmother. Mm. She fine too long. Here is Crumb. Mm. Here is Crumb's grandmother. He could knock her out. He's no better. Yes, he did, ma'am. Yes, he did. Then the people who's knocking people out in the street. Crumb's mother, who asked. Who, who, I want to know who are all these black people that show up every time a black guy gets beat up. Who are all these people that just show up and stand there looking upset and ridiculous? We not use her name and who did not make any public comments sobbed as she stood next to <laughs> oh, family's lawyer. Am I gonna Jamie get this Santana. money? Uh, am I really gonna get this I'm money? Mother, uh, Crumb. Oh she, she wants that money. Uh, very oh she wants that money. This is some sleaze but what's Black Lives Matter is that? <laughs> oh where's my money? Where's my money? The officer involved in this case. Look at this douche. That guy looks, that guy looks Dominican. And with a last name like Jaime Santana Jr., he probably is. Looks like a little douche. He's got a little perm going, perm going on and everything. We do that. We get perms. You feel me? We be getting perms. I know my people. That boy wants his money too. Everybody you see there, they all want their money. Maybe not this guy. Maybe not these two guys, but everybody want their money was approximately three times her body weight and size. This was unnecessary. And it's unacceptable. I don't know where, but I've seen this dude before. Like in real life. For sure. This has to stop. The incident was on West 136th Street, Tuesday around 5 p.m. NYPD sources tell CBS2 there will be an investigation, but the officer's actions appear justified. The initial <laughs> arrest was in a case of attempted murder, and police say the suspect... Oh, attempted murder. Oh, shit. They won't... Oh. Oh. So it seems that your daughter's been involved with an attempted murder case. Then she slaps a police officer, and he hit her back. Ah, always two sides of the story. Her actions appear justified. The initial arrest was in a case of attempt. Attempted murder. Oh. Did murder. 
and police say the suspect, 22-year-old Elvin James, allegedly had a loaded gun at the time. He was charged with assault on an officer, obstructing government administration. Charged with assault on an officer. And they charged her. Ooh, nah, nah. She's not gonna win that because they charged her on top of it. That's because, nah, man. Usually they don't charge you and shit when they're scared. But when they know that, that when they know you don't got shit, they just charge you on top of it. It's almost a tall tale sign. A loaded gun at the time. Cross Oof. Goddamn. Goddamn. Loaded gun at the time. Ooh. A loaded gun at the time. Ooh. Cross a loaded gun at the time. The time. Cross the time. 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 Oh, he hit her hard. I got a good look. Administration and resisting her, obstructing government, administer, obstructing government, obstructing government, obstructing government, obstructing government. She got a headache. We had the video looked at by Keith Taylor, a professor in the Department of Law, Police Science, and Criminal Justice Administration at John Jay College. When he was at NYPD, he supervised internal affairs, missing persons, and more. He calls this incident lawful but lawful. She's actively engaging, which is in this case assaulting you. Awful but lawful, yeah. Oh, women's rights, right? Ooh, well, women's rights backfires. Actively engaging, which is in this case, peep this, peep this, peep this, peep this. <laughs> awful but lawful. That's a new one. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna use that shit. <laughs> She's awful but lawful. She's actively engaging, which is in this case, assaulting the officer, and he uh, responds in kind. We need to let the investigators do their job and see all the additional information. And more of the story is. Do not strike someone that is five times your weight and do not strike a police officer. All right. That's it for this one. Baby, so, babe, this is crazy video. I have a cop punching this girl, right? But I don't think he's going to get in trouble.